What's up everybody, my name is Nathaniel, I am a Walk Smart Ambassador and today I'm going to be reviewing three scooters and one of them is what I think 2019's most popular scooter will be. In this review, I'll be going over the specs, how they compare to each other, and how they really handled in real life. Plus, I'll chuck my opinion in there as well. So let's meet our scooters. The two most popular are the Xiaomi scooter and the Segway 9bot, and the one I think is gonna take 2019 by storm, the Unagi electric scooter. I'll just quickly mention that in this review, the Segway 9bot is being reviewed with the expandable battery. Let's start with each scooter's defining feature. The Xiaomi scooter has a disc brake, and because of this design, applying the brakes has never felt more natural. Natural. Now the Unagi dual motor electric scooters defining feature in my opinion it's lightweight It's only a couple of kilos lighter. However, it truly makes all the difference and lastly the Segway 9 bots defining feature My personal favorite feature of the Segway 9 bot was actually its folding system This scooter was my favorite to fold until I had to pick it up the scooter already being heavy Plus the battery located where it feels natural to lift up the scooter from I guess this would be the best feature if you didn't have the extra battery in the Way. But I also feel like the battery is super necessary for this scooter. Okay, firstly, let's cover the battery. The 9 bot has the largest battery with the expandable battery attachment. This expandable battery allows the 9 bot to go the furthest and travel the fastest. But it's really only by this much. It's not a big difference. Now, it claims the 9 bot can go 30 kilometers an hour, and that is true. However, in my time using the scooters, I found that the Unagi dual motor made it up to that speed as well. So it really isn't that big of a difference. Now the range on the extra battery being 45 kilometers, and that does come out on top. However, I never found myself actually needing 45 kilometers worth of distance. The Xiaomi scooter claims a 30 kilometer battery range and the Unagi claims a 25. We'll go over the charging times real quick. The Unagi's charging time was four and a half hours. The Xiaomi scooter was five and a half and the nine bot with the extra battery was also about five and a half. So the Unagi has the fastest charging time. However, you might not worry about that because you'll probably find yourself charging them overnight anyway. For the battery category, I guess the nine bot wins but it'll cost you a bit more as well. Now for wheels. The Xiaomi scooter has tubed wheels, so you can potentially get a punctured tire along the line and have to get them replaced. The reason it has tubed tires is because it lacks suspension. On bumpy roads, you will find your spine taking most of the hits. The Segway 9Bot's tires are made out of solid rubber, and the Unagi scooter comes with tubeless tires, so you can't get a puncture. For the wheels category, it goes like this. Let's move on. Each scooter has a max speed of 25 k's an hour. However, I found if you were traveling for long enough and on a flat enough road, they all kind of made it up to 30 k's an hour. So I genuinely wouldn't worry too much about top speeds. I found that Unagi had greater acceleration than the 9bot. The Xiaomi met the same top speed as the other two, but had the worst acceleration out of the three. So far, so good. All three on a pretty level playing field. Now the folding mechanic for each scooter was completely different. My favorite folding mechanic was the 9bot. In my opinion, it's defining feature simply because you could do it with your foot. However, it comes back to the lightness of the scooter because you're about to pick it up after folding it. The Xiaomi scooter's folding mechanic was the least enjoyable. One, the folding mechanic was simple, but it wasn't easy to do. And two, it didn't feel natural at all. So in my opinion, this came last for the folding mechanic. I was worried that Unagi would snap when I was folding it down because the handle doesn't connect to anything. So the 9bot definitely wins the folding category. However, I would carry an Unagi over over a 9 bot any day. All these scooters came standard with kickstands, so no worries there. The Xiaomi scooter's kickstand was in the smartest place and felt the most natural, so I'll add that. Xiaomi wins the, <laughs> Xiaomi wins the kickstand category. So I'll quickly package this next category of handlebar, torch, display and buttons. Essentially everything that you look at and hold with your hand. Without a doubt, the Unagi had the coolest display. For buttons, my favorite was the 9bot. One button, multiple purposes, very easy. The Xiaomi also has one button, but I'm giving it to the 9bot just because it felt nicer to press. Now the Xiaomi scooter has the best brake, replacing a button with a pump instead. The Unagi and the 9bot both use brake buttons. They're no disc brake though, but they do the job just fine. The 9bot also had an optional foot 
foot brake. For the brakes category, the Xiaomi scooter obviously wins. The buttons for the accelerator are all essentially exactly the same. None of the handlebars particularly stood out. They're just handlebars. They all had grip. They all felt nice. What more can I say? And that also goes for the torch. The torch was exactly the same on all three scooters. They all were powerful. They did their job. I could see in the nighttime. However, the torch isn't something I'd use as a deal maker for the decision on a scooter. But the build quality is. Something I think is important to note that the design of these three scooters are completely different. The Unagi is sleek and thin and lightweight, where the Xiaomi scooter has a bell, its folding mechanics funky, and it's ultimately a heavier and larger scooter. But through testing these and riding on these, I can honestly say they all felt like they weren't gonna break. Not a single one of them felt stronger than the other one. For the build quality category, all three compete with each other and are about the same level. Now for the deck. This is where you'll be standing when you're riding your scooter. The Xiaomi was quite solid and made me feel very secure. Ultimately, my feet fit on every single scooter and each of them had good grip. So for the category of the deck where you stand, no one really loses, everyone's a winner, but it does go to show that Unagi can compete with the Xiaomi and the Ninebot. In most good electric scooters, you'll find multiple driving modes. In general, the modes are like this, power saving, sports mode, and regular mode. The Unagi has three modes, which is beginner, advanced, and professional, all applying a certain speed limit. The Xiaomi scooter has a power saving mode, and the Ninebot has three modes similar to the Unagi. So for this category, Unagi and Ninebot win with more modes. Now, two out of the three scooters have an app. There are a lot of uses for this app, but I found myself not using them. There are plenty of features on the app. Other than to change the color of the lights on the Ninebot, I didn't really find myself using these apps all that much. You can upgrade firmware through through the apps, change the color of the lights on the Ninebot, have a speedometer, watch your average speed. The lights on the Ninebot are very, very cool. I found it really fun to change them and mess with them and make it my own style. A feature of which you can't get on the Xiaomi scooter or the Unagi. Not having flashing colored lights isn't a deal breaker for me. The Unagi doesn't get a point here simply because it doesn't have an app. Ultimately, I didn't see myself using these apps too much, but the more the merrier. The Xiaomi scooter and the Ninebot both get a point. And now lastly, for my personal experience and opinion on these scooters, Walksmart gave me three scooters to demo. When Walksmart asked me to review these products, I was excited because I knew the Unagi could compete with the top most popular scooters out there. And I was excited to show you guys that too. These are the scores for each of the scooters. Take the point totals however you will. I just went through everything I could think of and elected a winner for each one. But scores aside, my personal favorite was the Unagi. Through time spent with the scooters, I found myself on the Unagi more than the other two. Just because I enjoyed the ride more. It could cut corners easier, its acceleration was perfect, it looks cool, it was just as fast, it's lighter but just as strong build quality. It comes in different colors, it has all the necessary things I feel an electric scooter needs and is just as good if not better than the Ninebot and the Xiaomi scooter. Make of this review what you will. I hope this scooter sees as much popularity as the Xiaomi me and the Ninebot have. It definitely deserves a fair go like the rest of them. If you want to try all three for yourself, come to the Walksmart store in Piermont and test ride any scooter that we have in stock and see for yourself which one's the best. I'm so glad you could join me for this review. If you want more Walksmart content, go to walksmart.com.au. Don't forget to follow Walksmart on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Check out the new Piermont store, test drive a scooter with us, and thanks for watching this review. My name's Nathaniel. If you'd like to know the price of a scooter, check the Walksmart website Website, all our prices are listed there. If you want more content on scooters, go to walksmart.com.au.